The world is heating up. Global temperatures around the world are constantly increasing day by day. Even the polar regions, known to have the coldest temperatures, are slowly warming up. Now, according to U.S. researchers, the area of sea ice around Antarctica has hit a record low, its lowest extent in the 45 years of satellite record keeping. The National Snow and Ice Data Center at the University of Colorado Boulder says Antarctica's sea ice fell to 1.79 million square kilometers on February 21st, exceeding the previous record low set in 2022 by 136,000 square kilometers. Now, according to them, the ice extent is expected to shrink even farther before this year's summer melting season ends, which means that there is now less sea ice surrounding the Antarctica continent than at any other time, since satellites were being used to measure it in the late 1970s. The melting of sea ice is a cause of concern which needs to be addressed urgently. Melting sea ice exposes the thicker ice shells to waves and warmer temperatures as melting sea ice has no discernible impact on sea levels because the ice is already in ocean water. But the sea ice rings Antarctica's massive ice shells, the extensions of the freshwater glaciers that threaten catastrophic sea level rise over centuries if they continue melting as global temperatures rise. Moreover, melting of sea ice is problematic as it helps in accelerating global warming. The white cover helps in bouncing off 90% of the sun's energy back into the atmosphere. But if it is not there anymore and is displaced or replaced by dark unfrozen sea, the water will then absorb a similar percentage of the sun's heat. Moreover, in our next report, we'll tell you further why sea ice are important for Earth. Sea ice, as in the Arctic, consists of salt water on the surface of the ocean which has been frozen. When temperatures rise in summer, it melts or partially melts before refreezing the following winter. Just like an ice block melting in a glass of water, the melting of sea ice does not raise sea level, but the reduction of sea ice does amplify the heating of the oceans, as the darker water absorbs more sunlight than the more reflective ice, an effect known as albedo. Land ice, such as glaciers, ice caps and ice sheets, which are immense glaciers, consists of fresh water from precipitation, sometimes kilometres thick. These glacial ice formations flow towards the sea, pushed by the weight of their ice. They can extend into the ocean, forming ice shelves. There are two ice sheets on Earth, in Antarctica and Greenland, with the smaller ice caps found elsewhere, such as Iceland. Due to the effect of heat, these ice shelves become thinner until they break off and become iceberg, a process known as carving. In this case of glacial ice, water is transferred from the land to the oceans, which does raise sea level. Ice shelves can also act to retain the ice sheet or glacier and slow its movement. If the shelves are sufficiently weakened, the movement of the ice sheet will increase, releasing even more fresh water into the oceans. According to the scientific group known as the IPCC, just the melting of the Antarctic ice sheet would raise sea levels by 10 to 30 centimetres by the end of the century. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.